Hey, what's going on, YouTube? By the way, it's help here. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to enable AirPlay mirroring on older Macs and Mac OS X Mountain Lion. Now, if you recently updated to Mac OS X Mountain Lion and you have an older Mac, uh, I believe it's 2011 uh, on down, uh, you might have noticed that if you go here on Mac OS X Mountain Lion to your system preferences and display, you don't have the AirPlay mirroring option, which should be here. Now, all oh, newer Macs from 2012 uh, on up will have this and do not do not need this tutorial or this software at all. But older Macs like mine, which is a 2009 uh, Mac, does not have this option. I don't know why Apple left this option on, out on these older um, computers. So I'm going to be showing you here on this video how do you get this to be enabled and how to get it up and running smooth and perfectly uh, like Apple uh, has it. So the first thing you want to do is go ahead here into your system preferences panel and go into security and privacy. Right here on down here on this lock, you want to go ahead and click it and enter your... Uh, computer's uh, password, whatever personal password you have. Uh, right here where it says allowed applications to download from, we're going to go ahead and select anywhere. Uh, if, it, if Go ahead and select anywhere that it's a new security feature built into Mac OS X Mountain Lion to prevent malware to get, malware to get into your Mac. So the application I'm going to be using is called Air Parent. It's really simple. All you do is make sure you have an Apple television before you grab the software. I know most of you guys already know what an Apple TV is, so here it is. You can get it for $99.00. So make sure you have that, and make sure the Apple TV and both computer are in the same Wi-Fi network. So once you have the Apple TV and computer linked to the same Wi-Fi network, you want to go ahead and open the application Air Parrot. So once you click the application, it'll tell you to allow to open it. You say OK, and up here on your status bar, you'll get an Air Parrot icon. So uh, all you have to do is go ahead and select Apple TV, and uh, really simple. It's going to ask you to allow the network, and boom. We're going to be connected to the television set. So as you can see, everything runs really smooth, really fast, and all this is done wirelessly. Uh, again, for older Macs that Apple does not allow uh, AirPlay mirroring, uh, here it is. Here's the proof that it works really nice, and it's actually really, really smooth. Thanks to the guys at AirParrot have been kind enough to give me five product keys to give away to five of my viewers. Now, uh, this giveaway is going from July 27th to August 3rd. 2012. Obviously, if you're watching this video after that date, the giveaway is over. Uh, the simple, it's really simple to win. All you have to do is leave five comments uh, a day, if you wish, for the next uh, week. Like I said, it goes from July 27th to August 3rd, which is from this Friday to next Friday. And if you're watching this video after that, then this video will only serve the purpose on showing you how to enable airplane mirroring on your older Mac and Mac OS X Mountain Lion. Uh, now that Apple does not allow you to with AirParrot. Now, all the links will be down below if you want to go ahead and pick AirParrot for yourself. And uh, make sure you share this video on Facebook as well. And you must be subscribed as well in order to win. So, five comments a day for the next five days. Make sure you're subscribed and share the video on Facebook or Twitter. And to the winners, I will be contacting you through a direct message on YouTube. So, make sure you check out your YouTube mail there. I will send you the product key so you can activate your AirParrot. So I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little video tutorial on how to enable airplane mirroring on older Mac computers in Mac OS X Mountain Line. Uh, make sure you check out my Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. And also check out my blog to stay up to date with the latest information on everything Apple devices. Once again, all the links will be down in the video description down below, so make sure you read that. It's been iDevice, and I will catch you guys later. Peace!